First, light stroke animation. Using type tool, I'm going to add a test. Right click on the test layer, create, create mask from test. Go to effects and presets and add stroke to the outline layer. Paint style on transparent. Set a keyframe for yen and change to zero. Go to four second and change end keyframe to 100. Check all mask. Uncheck stroke sequentially. Create a new solid and rename it as lens flare. Add lens flare. Change blend mode to screen. Under effects, lens flare. Flare brightness 30. Lens type 105 mm. Go to ray outlines layer and press M on keyboard to open mask. Place the playhead at the beginning. Copy the letter R mask and paste it on the flare center. In ray outlines, the stroke and keyframe is at 4 seconds. So you need to select all these keyframes and hold Alt key on keyboard and drag it to 4 seconds. Let me create another copy of lens flare and delete all these keyframes. Go to ray outlines and select the nest R mask path and paste it on this lens flare center. Hold Alt key and drag these keyframes to 4 seconds. And do the same process for all the other letters. Next up, test reveal animation. Under test layer animate, select enable per character 3D. Again, go to animate, scale. Again, go to animate, opacity. Go to animator 1, add property, rotation. Range selector 1, scale 50. X rotation minus 90. Y rotation 50. Opacity 0. Under range selector 1, set a keyframe for offset, change to minus 100. Go to 2 seconds, change the offset to 100. Under advanced shape, ramp up, ease high and ease low, 100. Next up, video insert test. These are my three videos right here. First, I will add background video. Then using type tool, I am going to add a test. I will add a second video into the timeline, decrease the scale and adjust the position like this. Let me add another video and adjust the position scale. Select both videos and pre-compose. Rename it as video. I will change the track matter video comp to test layer. Let me slightly adjust the opacity of background video. If you want to adjust the video inside the test, just double click on the video comp and adjust it according to your likings. Cinematic title animation. Under test layer, animate position. Animator 1, add property, enable per character 3D. Change C position to minus 2800. Under range selector 1, offset set a keyframe. Go 3 seconds, change the offset to 100. Easy is both keyframes. Under advanced, change shape to ramp up. Ease low 100. Go to animator 1, add blur, blur 10. A randomized order or random seed 20. Change the offset first keyframe to minus 100. Let me create a copy of this test layer and cut it where the animation is ending. Select the top test layer, animate, tracking. Set a keyframe for tracking type and tracking amount. Go at the end and change the tracking amount to 90. Let me add a background video at the bottom, decrease the opacity a little bit. Next up, wiggle test. Add turbulent displays. A mode 18, size 20. Under evolution options, hold Alt key on keyboard, click on this random seed keyframe. Add expression, time multiply 6. Wobbly test animation. Add CC glass. Add turbulent displays. Set a keyframe for evolution at the beginning of the timeline. Go 4 seconds and change the evolution to 3 times. Change the amount to 30. Add CC light sweep. Place CC light sweep above the turbulent displays. Set a keyframe for center at the beginning of the timeline. Place this anchor point all the way to the left. Let me go 4 seconds and place the anchor point all the way to the right. Let me select this color picker and pick this test color. Flicker test animation. 
under chest animate opacity opacity 0 under range selector 1 set a keyframe for start at the beginning of the timeline go 2 seconds change the start keyframe to 100 randomize order on set a keyframe for random seed at the beginning of the timeline go 2 seconds change the random seed to 20 smoothness 0 let me create a copy of the flicker test layer and hide this bottom test layer let me change the test to outline by clicking here increase the line width to 3 under this test layer animator 1 rain selector 1 offset 30 open opacity set a keyframe for opacity at the beginning change to 0 go 10 frames i will change the opacity to 100 select both keyframes right click toggle hold keyframes turn on bottom test layer and add glow to the top test layer Glow radius 40. Next up, RGB glitch test effect. Pre comb the test layer. Let me create a new comb and rename it as FX. Add a new solid layer and rename it as background. Add a gradient ramp. And post rise. Change the level to 10. Go back to main comb and add effect comb into the timeline. Let me hide this effect comb. Add displacement map into the test comb. Displacement map layer, effect comb. Maximum horizontal displacement 0. Maximum vertical displacement change all the way to where you can see the test, which is minus 1950. Go one second, change the maximum vertical displacement to 0. Easy both keyframes and open graph editor as is a speed graph like this. Add directional blur. Set a keyframe for blur length at the beginning of the timeline. Go 15 frames and change the blur length to 10. Go 1 second, change the blur length to 0. Select both comb and pre comb, rename it as test animation. Add shift channels. Take green from and take blue from full off. Create a copy of test animation comb. Take red from and take blue from full off and take green from green. Create another copy of the comb and change take red and green from full off. Take blue from blue. Change blend mode of these two combs to screen. Adjust the combs in 5 frames gap. Scribble test animation. Right click on the test, create, create mask from test. Add stroke to scribble outlines. Paint style on transparent. Check all mask. Set a keyframe for end at the beginning of the timeline. Change to 0. Go 3 seconds and change the end keyframe to 100. Right click on the test. Create. Create mask from test. I will place this layer on top. Rename this bottom one as stroke. Add scribble into the scribble outline layer. Change scribble old mask, angle 30 degree, set a keyframe for end at 1 second, change to 0. Go 4 second and change the end keyframe to 100. Next step, digital typewriter effect. I am using the font DS digital, under test layer animate opacity, change opacity to 0. Under range selector 1, I will select a keyframe for start and go 2 second and change the start to 100. Under Advanced, change Smoothness to 0, go to Effects and Presets and add Glow. Let me change the test color to green, add Venetian Blinds. Transfer Completion 20, Directions 90, Width 10. And that's it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls, thank you for watching.